the topic is uh, you know window functions uh, uh, in window functions we have uh, many uh, you know individual functions are there like uh, rank tens rank row number or uh, you know lead and lag like that there are many so i already explained uh, row number number uh, rank and tens rank in my previous sessions if you missed it uh, you please watch those in our playlist so other two functions are uh, lead and lag functions these are the two which are very important uh, uh, to do in a real time project works okay and interview purpose also uh, questions may come on these topics so in this session i want to uh, give a clarity and uh, with examples and also uh, once we get a knowledge on these two what exactly these are then we'll try to uh, practice with one real time use case okay uh, i created one uh, data like uh, one one state or one city data for uh, march month i taken uh, minimum and maximum uh, temperatures okay so entire this 31 days data will try to load in this table this temperature table and see how this lead and lag functions will work and where exactly we can use this so those kind of stuff we will practice it okay to do so you can execute these queries in a high or uh, mysql workbench whatever you uh, in a rdbms system but uh, for now i'm explaining in a uh, mysql workbench for you know uh, better uh, you know, graphical uh, display okay so okay this is already created so table created and uh, no data is up now in the table and we can check it stuff please practice like this to write a query with the table and its database name okay so in real time we we will use uh, this index only okay so no data in a table this is expected right to save some time i just created a data here what i will do i will take this data simple insert command Let me run it. Data got inserted. Again, I want to check uh, whether the data got loaded successfully or not. Okay. So if you see the data, data is loaded, right? For this 30, uh, 31 days. For 31 days, data loaded. And uh, this is the sample data. I just captured it, uh, the same data in here. If you see, this is the data only we are able to see there, right? So one month of data with the temperature, minimum temperature and maximum temperature, okay? Now we will try to understand what exactly the lead and lag, okay? Let us say if uh, how lead will work. Let me write a query. When we do this, uh, if we want to write any uh, other column or derived column, then simply we can write like something like this. Okay. Lag. First of all, I will take it lag. Okay. So I want to use this max temperature column. Okay. Max temperature column. I want to apply max temperature column here. See what lag function will do. It will bring the previous it will check the previous value and uh, based on our uh, condition it will populate in our derived column okay so i will show you with the example so that you will understand better okay over i'm not using any partition by because i'm using only one city right that is delhi so that is the reason i know i no need to use uh, partition by city if we really want then we have to use partition by but in this case i'm not using so directly i will write order by underscore date we can give one alias right uh, what i will give uh, as entire this lag function and all i will give previous right the lag means previous only right previous underscore max this is the another column which we are deriving based on the lag function okay now uh, our query is ready let me run this we usually see the uh, another column which is derived column based on our uh, logic 
see here this is the previous max temp uh, column uh, the, based on this condition the column got generated if you see previous uh, you know for the first record right there is no previous uh, there is no previous uh, for this column so that is the reason taken as a null but coming to the second record see it has taken from here this is the previous one and and here 27 okay and then 28 so this value will populate here but this value is equal to this value this value is equal to this value so that is the reason we are calling as a lag lag means it will give the uh, the previous data okay is it clear guys yes sir okay. yes sir okay and uh, uh, if you want to check the uh, you know second uh, second previous also then uh, simply uh, we can uh, what i will do i want to take the second previous like let us say if i uh, derive one more column that is uh, previous to max ten then how we will write the query uh, previous to previous to okay this is uh, again this is a column right so we can put comma okay and lag there is an offset value we can give okay we have to give two here right and here also we can give one but by default if you won't give anything it will take it as a one so that is the reason i'm not giving here so here i want to uh, compare or take the data of previous two value uh, that is the reason i mentioned offset value is two okay now what we will do we will run it we will write this query and check it uh, whether we will get another column or not see here this is the second column that we got uh, derived so now since we are comparing or taking the two two records uh, you know previous data so for this there there are no we didn't see any uh, previous two records so that is the reason we are seeing two nulls here and from here it is started so uh, this is the difference and this is how we have to use lag function guys is it clear uh, shall i move for lead function how it will do yes. is it clear okay okay so let me uh, explain lead function as well It's very easy. Uh, so lead will give our next value, okay? Next record value, right? So instead of lag, we can just simply lead. lead. Uh, I don't want it to lead by temperature. Yeah, that's it. Let me run it. See this. So for this, um, <clears throat> it will give the next value. Next value means 27 will come here, 28. This 28 value come here, 29. So like this, it will take. <clears throat> okay. So uh, similar way, lead also work like this only. Like uh, if you want to uh, check the next one, then it is very easy. Like uh, next to two also, you can check it. Okay. So next to like how we did for previous two uh, in a lag function the same way in next to two uh, next to second record it will take it as a first record in the derived column okay next to two so no fine let me run it see here this 28 is from here okay from here right so you see here it, it, it this is a it giving null because uh, next to two are not there that is the reason we are seeing two here two nulls here in this case only one null so this is how lead and lag functions will work or let me uh, just compare this to uh, lead and lag function we will try to you know lag and lead okay See here and you see here we are seeing null right if you don't want to see null then simply um, you can give like this like a dot uh, not a, whatever the value that you want to pause it you can give 
I'm just uh, passing any. <clears throat> so uh, this is our uh, actually hard coded value. Okay, whatever you can pass. Basically, this output, right? Uh, it is in a string format. Uh, though we are seeing here uh, these values. So whatever this uh, the data type we supposed to match. So sorry. Here I'm writing now. And lab. See here, not a couple. The condition is not satisfied, then automatically it will give not a couple. Okay. So this is how we generally use read and lab functions, and these are very much useful in day-to-day -day works and real time when we do any projects. Okay. <clears throat>